everyone, it's April. Welcome back to my channel. So today is part three of the posture correction series. And today we're going to be working a little more into the hip flexors as well as the glutes because in order for your hip flexors to be more open, your glutes need to be a little stronger. So we're gonna get that going for you. We're gonna get a quick little flow in. Not, nothing too long because we have the other two parts and you'll want to sometimes do them in sequence. So if you want to pause this video, grab any blocks, go ahead and do that. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and hit the little notification bell. You'll be notified every Friday when I release a new video. All right, let's go ahead and get started closing down the eyes with some intention setting for our posture. Resting the hands either on the knees or in the lap. And breathing deep in through the nose here. Exhale, let it out. And what is it that you would like to work on with your posture today? Do you sit too much? Do you stand a lot and then start to press your hips forward? What is the issue that you have surrounding your hip flexors or your glutes? And how is your posture in that area? Thinking about how you would like to correct it. Take one more big inhale into that intention. And exhale, open the mouth, let it out. Okay, slowly opening the eyes, coming back. And today we're gonna to start in our easy pose. We're gonna reach our fingers out to each side of the mat. And I will not be marrying you today, so you're gonna be doing the opposite arm. We'll reach the right arm up, inhale. Exhale, planting the left palm, reach over to the left. Gaze up towards the sky, unless you have any neck issues, and then you will gaze neutral. Breathe here, feeling a nice stretch along the right side body, anchoring that right knee down towards the ground, I'm getting a little bit of stretch along the hip. Take another breath. And then as we exhale, we come back through center, lower that right hand to the ground, left arm up, inhale. Exhale over to the right. Again, gaze up towards the ceiling if you have no neck issues. Anchor that left leg down. Breathe here into that hip. Feel the muscles letting go. And exhale, come back through center. We'll inhale, arms swim up to the sky. Exhale, twist over to the right. So right hand behind you, like a second spine. Remember that tall spine like we did in the last video. And if you did watch the last video, link up here for you to go ahead and do that one first. Left hand to the outside of the knee. Breathe here and really elongate the spine towards the sky. Take a couple more breaths. Reach that crown up, up, up. And exhale, maybe twist a little deeper, gazing over the right shoulder. Take one more breath. And exhale, come back to center. Inhale, arms swim up. And exhale, over to the left. So left hand behind you, second spine, tall spine. And then right hand to the outside of the left knee. Imagine bringing your belly button towards the left side. Take a couple more breaths. Remember to elongate the spine towards the sky. And exhale, maybe twist a little deeper gaze over the back shoulder. And then inhale, exhale back to center. Bringing the hands behind you now, maybe about three to five inches. Soft little bend here in the elbow. Start to straighten the arms as you press the chest forward. Lift the head, lift the gaze, let the head go back a little bit. And then maybe we start to press into our knees. 
So make sure that your feet are not crossed, but they're just stepped one in front of the other. Press into the knees, lift the hips, squeeze the glutes up towards the sky. Getting that little bit of glute strengthening here. Take another breath. Exhale, lower all the way down. And then we'll switch which leg is in front. So bring that other one to the back. Reach the hands behind, fingertips facing you. Press the heart forward, lift the chin, lift the gaze, inhale. Exhale, press the knees into the ground, lift the glutes up. And keep breathing here. Hold here, but remember to breathe. Let's take two more. Last one, squeeze those glutes. And exhale, lower it all the way down. Coming back into our easy pose. Okay, so if you are facing me, go ahead and turn on your mat, finding your tabletop position, wrists directly under the shoulders and knees directly under the hips. We're gonna bring our right foot in between our hands, finding a low lunge or a runner's lunge. Maybe we adjust that back knee so we bring it out a little bit more towards the back. Take a breath here. At this point, we're just kind of opening the hip flexors. Maybe you pull the right hip crease back slightly. Feel that engagement in your right glute. Even though it's just a little bit, there is engagement there. Take another breath. And maybe this is where you have blocks, depending on where you are in your practice. Take one full breath. Exhale, let it out. And then bring that knee, back knee, the other. Left foot comes in between the hands. Low lunge on the other side. So fix that back knee if you need to walk it a little further back or maybe even a little more forward. Slight pull back to that lift hip crease. Breathe here in the runner's lunge. Again, maybe you're on blocks and they're here under your hands. Maybe they're a little bit higher. I don't want you really reaching too much, like you're stretching your upper back, but really trying to get that shoulder and chest nice and broad. Take another breath. Exhale, let it out. And then start to walk that knee back to knee the other. This time, make sure they're hip width apart as we walk the fingertips back, bring them up the thighs and to the hips. Hands go either here around the hips or bringing the fingertips to face upward, palm on the glute, the top of the glute. We start to press our hips forward, squeeze the glutes as we protect those hip flexors as they stretch. Squeeze the elbows together like you're pinching a pencil between your scapulas. Gaze up, camel pose variation. And if you have full camel here and you feel warmed up, Feel free to go all the way into it. Take another breath. Squeeze the glutes a little bit more, protect that lower back. Lift the gaze up, chest towards the sky. And then exhale, lower all the way down on the heels here. Knees together, take a breath. And exhale, let it out. All right, walking the hands forward. Coming up into a downward facing dog, maybe a little tiny walk out. And then we're gonna take that walk all the way to the top of our mat. Inhale as we halfway lift. Exhale as we hold. Hanging here, maybe bringing the hands one to each elbow. Grab up those. Maybe your legs are straight, maybe they're bent. Follow two. Find what feels good right now. And then we're going to let the hands hang, let the head hang even more. Start to press into the heels, engage the glutes and the hamstrings. As you press through those heels, knees are bent. As we unravel, knees begin to extend, hips begin to extend. Palms come forward, slight squeeze to the glutes, and slight tap to those lower ribs. Take another breath here. Big inhale. 
and long exhale. Right, we're going to test out our balance, so bring your feet about hip width apart. And then really lift your toes here, and I'd like for you to look down at your feet. Start to bring the pinky toe all the way down to the big toe until all your toes are really gripping your mat and finding a lot of foundation here, feeling the four corners of your feet really solid on the ground. We'll bring our hands to our heart. The right foot is going to start to go back. So lean forward, press weight into that left foot, maybe a little buoyancy in the knee as we bring that foot back into warrior three. Pull the belly up and in, breathe here. Finding that foundation in your foot and that strength in your glute and your hamstring. Start to bring that leg back forward nice and straight, swoop it through the middle, lift the leg up to the sky, active and big toe. You're kind of leaning back, try to really press strong into that standing leg. Take another breath. And then sending that leg back, like we're going into the warrior three, but then start to bend that front knee, lowering the back foot down into the right. Finding a high lunge, crescent lunge, inhale, arms come up. Exhale, begin to lower that back knee, coming into a low lunge. Continue to keep the toes tucked behind you, feeling that nice, strong glute and hip flexor here. Press back up. Lower down, up, and down. Last time, up. And then we're gonna bring our hands to fly, straighten the front leg, keep the back foot or back heel lifted. Pull the left hip crease slightly, slightly back. And then we're gonna go once more into our warrior three. Press off, lift, engage that back leg, engage the glute, flexing that foot. One more breath. And then exhale, bring that foot back, walk it out. Relieving that calf muscle. All right, we'll do the other side before we cool down. Lift the toes, all the way down with the toes from the pinky, all the way to the big toe. Grip that mat with those toes. Find a little bit of buoyancy in that right knee. Start to spin that left foot back as the hands come to the heart, finding warrior three or if you're to drop some of three. Flex that back foot and keep it nice and active as if you're pressing it into a wall. Take one more breath. And then bring that left foot forward, swoop it through the middle, lift it up. Remember, nice and active in that standing leg, really pressing through the ground. Take another breath. And then start to bring it back as if going into that warrior three. Step it back and to the left. High lunge or crescent lunge on Janayasana. Bend deep in that front leg. Take another breath. Exhale, lower the back knee, toes stay tucked. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, come all the way down. And inhale, come back up. Exhale, lean forward, straighten the front leg, arms go back flying forward. We're going to start to come back into that warrior three before we come all the way back up. So get a little bit of buoyancy, press off, warrior three or airplane, and then exhale, bring the leg back, foot plants. Inhale, arms from up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Begin to forward fold, send hips back, slight bend to the knees. And exhale, head towards the knees. Breathe here. Maybe reaching for the backs of your calves and starting to straighten the legs a little bit more. Take a breath. Stretching the back body after that little bit of heat from the low lunge, high lunge sequence. Take another breath. And plant the palms, step the right knee back. Bring that left leg behind, send it back like you're flying it back. We'll let that right foot come across. Bring that left knee to tuck behind. That foot goes across. And then we start to walk it back. We want the hips to be nice and even on the ground. One foot to each side. 
cow face pose. So getting a nice stretch here and really trying to anchor those hip points on the ground. Take an inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, hinge forward, lower the hands where they fall. Maybe we stay here, tall chest, or maybe we start to fold over. Take big breaths here. Last one. Exhale, make it count. And start to walk it all the way back up. We'll go ahead and switch which leg is on top. So if you come forward, we'll remove the left knee from behind, bring the left knee to center, let the foot come out, that right leg flies back. Bring the right knee in, that foot goes the opposite way. Start to come all the way down. Our legs looking like a little shoelace or cow face pose. Inhale, arms swim up. Make sure those hips are nice and solid. And then exhale, lean forward, hinge, hands to the ground. Pull the chest a little more forward. And then exhale, forward fold. Take a big breath here. Two more. Last one, big inhale, and exhale. As you come up, recall in your intention with your posture. Unravel the legs, scooch down on the yoga mat, coming all the way down to Shavasana. Extend the legs to each corner of the mat. Palms come out to the sides. Facing up. Take a few breaths here. Remembering that intention. Repeating those words. And remembering to be consistent with them. The more you believe something, and the more you repeat those habits that lead you to that something, the more likely you are to accomplish it. Let's take another breath. Open the mouth, fog up the window. Start to bring the feet in, hands behind the thighs as we start to rock all the way up, come into easy pose, and we are all done. Great job everybody. Remember, if you are doing this series, once you get through to number four, feel free to repeat them over and over, and slowly your body will learn the new habits to have a better posture. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Remember, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video if you really liked it. Um, if you really enjoyed it and you have a favorite part, feel free to comment below. I would love to hear from you. That's all I got for you today, so I will talk to you all soon. Thank you so very much. Namaste. All right, everyone. See you later. Peace out.